everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Lost in Transit. Come and join us for the day. We go travel free Finland. We are parked up on the side of this lake and in the distance we can hear huskies barking away. You join us here in northern Finland and we are making our way down south. We are heading towards Helsinki because we are catching a ferry over to Estonia. So our first spot of the day is a little bit mysterious and we've got to drive along this dirt track road to get there for about 40 minutes. We've gone off the E8, that big long road that's taking us all the way down from the top of Norway to Helsinki. We're driving down this really bumpy track. It feels like it's just going on forever because you have to drive quite slow. It's just so many potholes and it's all gravelly, not very good for the tires. I've been keeping my eyes peeled for reindeer or moose, nothing. I just feel like we, they can really hear us coming because it's such a bumpy road. But we're nearly there now. Well, it really does feel like we're in the middle of nowhere. We are in the middle of a Finnish forest. So this place here is called Paka Saivo. It's great, it's got a little toilet area. It's got a whole shed full of firewood and a huge barbecue area. I'm, I don't know whether it's on honesty basis. It's a really nice little area. And this site is a very significant site for the Sami people. And the Sami are the native people to the northern region of Scandinavia and into Russia. So the Sami people uh, believed there were three worlds, three realms. There was the upper realm where the gods lived and it was always sunny and warm. And then there was the realm where we live and then there was the underworld underneath the waters. And this is where the spirits lived down in the deep. But this place here is actually somewhere which is a portal to the underworld. How did this Pakasaivo lake get created? The 60 metre deep lake that potentially at the very bottom has a portal to the other world. Well, it was a fracture in a continental ice sheet and boulders fell into this, this and then in the meltwater from the ice sheet, these boulders were swirling around, grinding down and creating this lake. The Sami were traditionally nomadic people who'd follow reindeer herds around, but as the Scandinavian countries pushed further north and started to colonise further north and they demanded that the Sami pay tribute and to keep up with the demand of the tributes the Sami started to domesticate the wild reindeer. I think I've been bitten. There's a few mosquitoes around. I am reacting in the way I normally react to insect bites. Nice and uh, big bump there. We've driven 500 metres down the road from our lake and now we've come to another sacred site to the Sami. They would have sacred places and that might be a lake like we've just seen or it might be a particular boulder or landscape marker. These would be special places where the shaman would perform ritual. This is a boulder in the woods which is a special site for the Sami and this is a sacrificial place where they would often sacrifice reindeer or leave donations uh, to the gods. So there are a few remains here from things that have been left for the gods, whether that's skulls probably from a reindeer. There's also a fish head, which I don't think I want to touch, uh, but there's reindeers with antlers as well. Sacrifice was a way to give thanks for everything that the Sami have been given in the land. And there is even a creation myth in Sami culture where the world was created by a reindeer who sacrificed himself to create the world and his veins became the rivers and his antlers became the mountains. It's extremely quiet here. Just hear the creaking of the trees, the rustle of the wind and the leaves. I'll try and leave some links in the description if you want to find out a bit more. So the good news is that we don't have to go back on ourselves um, from the lake and the rock. So we're not, it wasn't too much of a detour. We do have to still carry on driving on dirt roads. We are a bit better on this side. Met a few vehicles it's in this way. Enormous. Everyone, um, Tom's voice is vibrating and everything in the back is red. You really have to keep your eyes peeled for these reindeer. They, they, they camouflage quite well into the road. And because these are really just long straight roads, it's hard because in the distance you see a shape and you're not sure um, if it's just a sign or a bit of this tree stump. 
I've just been having a little snooze. Thomas been driving away for a couple of hours and we've arrived at the Arctic Circle. This place actually has a bit of like a touristy centre. We haven't quite adapted to dealing in with Euros yet because last night we were in Sweden and we were dividing things by 10 so we just saw something and we were like, oh that's really cheap, but it's actually 100 Euros, not 10 pounds. This is a really good little souvenir shop. They've got like lots of things of character. They've got love of the moon in little cups. It's not just your uh, classic tacky. Well, I mean, there's a lot of it, but I love it. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. Well, I very nearly spent 100 euros in that shop. Tom had to stop me, but there's so many cute little things. I'm not going to show you because my brother's watched these vlogs and I've got them a little something. Harry and George, get excited. <laughs> I love it so much. I want to keep it for myself. And I have gone for a Finnish pear lolly. We got a little. Oh, let's get a little baby. Yay! Things aren't ridiculously expensive. It's so good being able to get a whole shop for £25. Pounds, just it's more expensive than the UK, but it's yeah, got loads of good stuff. So oh we are still driving guys. Yep, still going. And this time I pick up the camera, we've gone onto the bumpiest road. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this. We yeah, we've been driving all day. It's now nearly nine o'clock and we're nearly at our parking spot for the night. Tom's selected something. I'm sure it'll be nice. Tom's normally good at picking us a spot. Oh, there's a lot of mosquitoes around. We just had the door open for seconds while we bought everything but in the back and they're all buzzing around in here. You're not used to this insect life. Hope you enjoyed this one guys. See you tomorrow. Spoiler warning first, Harry and George, if you're, look, you're watching, please look away now. So in Finland, they have traditional crookses and they're these wooden cups that they attach their backpacks on there on the hikes and then they uh, use it as a ladle in the streams and they drink from it on a hike and they look really beautiful. Fortunately the traditional wooden ones were like 60 euros so I didn't get them but got these little moving ones. This one's for George, this one's for Harry. I really like them.